Nah, nah, I didn't know what I was going to do, actually. Um, but nah, super grateful to be here. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've uh, been back in this whare, but it's always an honour and, and pleasure to, to be able to put on the, the Māori jersey. Yeah, well, it's uh, started up, well, started over in France, um, top 14. I was playing for Toulon at the time, and bloody COVID came along, and uh, as many other competitions and lives and uh, jobs uh, took a hit, so uh, came back to New Zealand, um, signed for Waikato for the, for the ITM Cup, or Maritime Cup, I should say. Um, that's how old I am. I used to play when I was the NPC. Um, but yeah, and just got back into it. Um, still enjoyed the grind and, and footy, and I uh, was just really grateful that Waikato gave me the chance, and um, they had enough faith in this old man to, to uh, still run around, and really enjoyed, enjoyed my um, waie, or my season with Waikato. Um, yeah, I think uh, Clayton needed a, a local bus driver in, in, in um, Hamilton to uh, drive the team around, so got the call up. Uh, to be honest, it was, it was really humbling, uh, really grounding. Um, just the struggle that those young players have to go through just to try and compete, because at the end of the day they're trying to get Super Rugby contracts and they're doing it really tough. Um, and obviously COVID didn't help with, uh, with money-wise. I know some guys in our team were pretty much turning up for, for love, but um, I just love the work ethic that they, they, they brought because um, they didn't get much, but they, you know, they turned up every day, worked hard to, to try and ultimately get a Super Rugby contract. Um, and like I said, it's real grounding. I remember the first early morning gym because I'm a real good person. I thought I'd turn up to a like 5:30 gym, smashed out a session, and then the boys literally chucked on their hivers, t-shirts, work boots, and went out to work. And I asked them what they were up to, and they said they're off to work. Uh, which was pretty tough and then we trained again later that night at like uh, 5 30 and they're running back in from work after four days work so that was really humbling um, i'm just really grateful to be in the position that, I, that i'm in coming back into a team that i, that I absolutely love um uh, so, so it's been awesome it's uh, given me a new sense of life <laughs> it's gonna be a few more years left in, in these legs hopefully so i'm um, enjoying every minute i'm um, just taking in every moment i'm um, being real grateful and, and mindful of the things that i, I am able to do in this uh, environment Wow, who's watching this? Any coaches or um, teams out there that need a, a loose forward? Um, yeah, as long as it's um, No, I feel really good. My, my body feels real good. The mind's really good. Um, the heart's good, so, you know, still loving everything. Um, I do have uh, two little boys that I, I need to look after, though, and I've really enjoyed just being a full-time dad, really. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to go as long as, as the body and, and the family will let me.